Hey everybody, this is Cruise Man from Cruise Man's Garage. Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing something a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I uh, normally would do a video on uh, maintaining the Honda Goldwing or adding some new accessory, but I was in the process of editing a video today in Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, came across a problem that I've come across many times before. And I have a solution thanks to Don Smith, who is a fellow Goldwing writer and also a Final Cut Pro expert, I would call him, and trainer. And he's taught me a few little tricks. In fact, he taught me a new little trick today. And I'm going to show you how I deal with this. Uh, basically, it involves getting rid of unwanted pops or clicks in your video. Now, I uh, am editing a 10,000 mile review video today. And I noticed two or three times during the video, I sometimes tend to smack my lips and it makes a very annoying pop or sound in the video. And I'll play just a little piece here so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll play it a couple times so you can hear it. 2000 RPM, really seriously. So I'm pretty sure you could hear that uh, kind of an annoying lip smacking. I'll play it one more time so you can hear it again. And really seriously rpm really seriously so how do we get rid of that so that it doesn't uh, annoy my viewers i'm going to show you a little trick that i do and don just showed me another new way to do it today so i'll share that with you so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in on this video i'm going to hit the command plus key to kind of zoom in so you can see here that kind of that spike in the audio um, wave and that is the actual uh, lip smack really now this could be a pop or a click or any unwanted sound uh, that you have in your video really now what i'm going to do basically is i'm going to isolate this and i'm going to use my blade tool i'm going to hit the b key on the keyboard and that turns it into a little uh, razor blade and i'm going to put a little cut right here and then I'm going to do another one just after. So now I've basically hit my A key. I've basically cut my video and audio clips uh, around this uh, clip, around this uh, pop or this smack. Really. And now what I want to do is I want to select that clip that I just kind of created by using the blade tool. And I want to detach the audio. So I'm going to right click on that little piece of clip and I'm going to select Detach Audio. And now that separates the audio file down here below the timeline so that I can just work on that audio. Now you'll notice before this little lip smack, there's a lot of dead space here. If I put the playhead here and I just play this couple of seconds, you'll see, or not even two seconds, and maybe a second, it's just nothing but background noise. I mean, I could simply come over here and just drop out that audio. I can, I can sit here and reduce this audio down to nothing, but when I play it back, you're going to hear dead air. Really serious. So I get rid of the lip smack, but you, you just hear dead air. Really. Even if I uh, choose to uh, do like a, you know, like a ramp, it's still going to sound kind of strange. So I, I don't really want to just drop this audio down. I want to have my background or my room noise uh, in there so that you don't really know anything's happened. So let's play this one more time with that audio dropped out completely. You'll see what I mean. Really serious. So you hear that just fraction of a second, or maybe it's a second, where there's no sound at all. That's what we don't want. So let's go ahead and raise our audio level back up to uh, 0 dB. And what I'm going to do is use a technique called slipping. So I'm basically going to hold down the T key on the keyboard. And when I hold down the T key, I get a different icon. You can see this little icon changes. And I can move this audio clip over, separate from the video, over to where we just have the background noise, just like that. Basically, I'm taking this little chunk of audio right here and moving it over into this area on the video. So now if we replay this clip, you'll see it sounds a little more normal. Really serious? Really serious? Really serious?
So now we don't have any visible or audible, I should say, audible drop in the sound. We still get the background noise, but we don't have the lip smack. Now, it, you still hear a little space, and you can kind of see my face do something, but you know, maybe I'm just clearing my throat or something. Really, you can't seriously? really tell uh, that I'm smacking my lips. So that's just a little trick that I use uh, to get rid of some unwanted pops or clicks or lip smacks or whatever in uh, video. Uh, as I'm editing. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you can uh, uh, use this tip on your videos. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Garage.